accused of killing officer her Dante James is in jail. James is charged with homicide, hit and run and driving without a license. James could have gone to prison for six years after his fourth OWI conviction. That happened in 2018. The judge, though, gave James a much more lenient sentence. The I-team reached out to the judge, and Tom Durian is here with more on that. Tom. Carol Steve, Judge Dennis Simple said that he could not comment on James's case, and he directed us to the sentencing proceedings record. So we requested those documents, and today we received them. Dante James was convicted of his fourth OWI in 2018 for a 2017 incident where he crashed into a tree on Capitol and Green Bay at more than three times the legal limit. That spot, just a few miles from last week's fatal crash that took the life of Officer Ku Her. The 2017 crash left James in a coma for more than five weeks. When he was out, he entered a treatment program. In court, he pled no contest, essentially entering a guilty plea. Prosecutors recommended prison time. He did try. I think he was serious. I think he was sincere. And I think it was right to give him the chance. But it was the treatment that kept him from a long prison sentence. Joseph Elwanger was one of two people who wrote letters on behalf of Dante James. Elwanger is a former pastor at James's church and believed continued treatment was the answer. Judge Simple agreed, but not before admonishing James in court, saying at the time of the crash, there were, quote, a lot of drunks on the road, a lot of sober people on the road. Hell, there might even be somebody going to early mass or early church services. You could have killed them. The judge also said the only thing that is saving you from not going to prison is because of how well you did on treatment. So instead, James was sentenced to one year in jail. His former pastor agreed with that sentence. If you were asked to testify or write a letter again, would you do it again? Well, I'm wrestling with it because I know that deep down in my heart of hearts that uh, we are not going to incarcerate our way out of the addiction uh, and drug issues that our society is plagued with. So in that 2017 case, Judge Simple gave James a state sentence of two years in prison, meaning he wouldn't have to serve it if he stayed out of trouble. Now, James did have to go to jail for a year with the ability to leave for work or treatment. The judge also revoked his driver's license, which remained the case when last week's fatal crash happened. In the newsroom, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4, Steve. Tough choices for the court there. Tom Durian, thank you.